Take it. Running, <laughs> getting it every show. You don't have to worry about it. Exactly. And we are live, folks. Welcome <laughs> to the Sit Down Standard Podcast, the podcast celebrating all the amazing things you can do while sitting, whether it's enjoying music, watching television, or playing games. I am one of your hosts, David Bray. I'm joined, as always, by Gerald Bales. Hi. And Jordan Peterson. Mr. Jordan Peterson to you. And before we start the show, and we're actually, this is going to be our awesome apocalypse episode, um, I want to give some uh, love to our sponsor. Again, I can now show the book because we have the video. Again, the video actually worked last week. I'm sure this week it won't work. because A lot of people liked it, right? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Um, and you again, get likes on YouTube? Does it have a like function? Uh, it has thumbs up. I think Thumb, we got yeah, a couple thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah, oh, nice. so, so we got some, up. no thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. If they I'm don't just, hate it, they love it. Exactly. Well, I just was hoping that it got up there. Now, this is our 13th episode, so I'm sure this will be unlucky and it won't go up. But it's we'll about the apocalypse, so yeah, unlucky already. Yeah. All right. Before we move on, um, I wanted to give some love to our sponsor again, Thousand Books Before Kindergarten. They are a nonprofit charity uh, encouraging uh, parents to read a thousand books before their kid, uh, newborn, their uh, infant, or toddler reaches kindergarten. Helps with uh, child bonding, also helps with literacy. And of course, Jordan probably is over there freaking out. Because is it easy? Your homework this week. Is it easy to do, <laughs> yeah. Gerald? No. It's not easy. Oh yes, it is easy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do your you homework. Well, I man, I'm, this is this is Jordan's thing. This is my yeah. thing. All right, Jordan. Yes. Is it hard to read a thousand books before a kid gets to kindergarten? No. Make How them, many books? Make them comic books. Just read the survival guide, like no, you know, a thousand times, <laughs> yeah, just exactly. in a row. That's all you no, have to do. Uh, read Old Man Logan, the short <laughs> short series, seven books. They're only twenty four pages a piece. You can get through them, and uh, you only do that one hundred and forty two times. No, I actually picked up that book at a bookstore, and there was so, there's like the, the children's book section is always so awesome. Like I'm just like oh, I want to not be a creepy guy and walk in there, but anyways, you know you can be shopping for like your kid. I know, but I, here's you don't the have thing: I don't, creepy. I don't have a kid yet, so yeah, it's but, kind of like weird to like. So it's you not know, weird. You're making it weird. You know, in your head, you're weird. Yeah, but that, nobody other people else does. Don't. You just no. pretend you have a kid. You're old enough to have a kid. You just tell them like, ah. all right, you we'll could be sh- shopping for my kids. Exactly. I'll shop for your <laughs> yeah, kids. There you go. So check out all the great stuff at a thousand books before kindergarten.org. They have reading logs. They have a, a library list of all the different libraries, state by state, that are working with the program. So again, check them out, and we want to thank them. So now we'll move into our first part of every episode, and this one is Will Smith inspired because I'm going to say, Wiki, 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 what you doing? No. You like that one? No. 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 Is that, all right. Is, it's is always going to be no. Wiki, Every Wiki. time you're like, did you like this, this version? No. All right. Well, but it's okay. All right. Tried. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix it up here. Jordan, <laughs> what you doing? What have I been doing? Well, I've stepped it up. I've moved on from my um, ultra retro game. We have NES to retro gaming with SNES. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've moved to from like 80, 1985 to like 1993, somewhere in there. When are you going to get to 2015? So we'll see. <laughs> Probably 2057. <laughs> when you give me your old system because you're part of it. <laughs> exactly. But um, no, I played uh, Contra 3, The Alien War. You guys ever played that one? No. No. Contra Figured. 3? What? Is yeah. it still up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, I don't know. Start? I don't use cheats. Really? Man up. It's a Konami game, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I think yeah, so. Yeah, then it's yeah. in there. It's awesome though. Um, it's just like a side scroller. They have, you know, they've got the cool bike seat uh, level where you're riding on the bikes. They've got some cool um, top down views levels. Me and my brother played this game to death when we were younger. We didn't even own a Super Nintendo, but my cousin did, and he had this game. And when we I would stay at the night at his house, me and my brother would just kill it. And we, I was texting him while I was playing. I was like, oh, I'm taking pictures of it, showing it to him. <laughs> and I was like, do you remember beating this on hard? Because it is so hard on hard. <laughs> like I beat it on normal this week, but uh, I couldn't even get past the first level on hard. It's ridiculous. Contra is gorgeous. Like it, I think it's the my favorite game that has like the best graphics for SNES, the pixel art and stuff. Yeah, it looks really, Wonderful. really good. And the gameplay is just smooth. It keeps it changing. There's levels where you're hanging from like a helicopter, jumping out different missiles and things like it just like it, for only being like five or six real levels it just has a lot of different ways to play it and it's really right. good, really great game great weapons yeah that was like, the best thing about yeah, Contra you, you get like the one that sprays like the whole the whole scene yeah, and then you, you get the spread, laser one and... laser super powerful <clears throat> like I don't think I understood this stuff when I was a kid I was just like which one looks the coolest <laughs> but like this time I'm playing it and I'm like I'm trying to kill this guy with the heat seeking the heat seeking ones suck they're horrible yeah they, they don't hurt him at all but then I grabbed the laser and he died in like two seconds but you have to like direct 
directly aim it, and it's a lot harder. But uh, yeah, just great weapon, just great game overall. Um, I also played Seventh Saga. Did you guys ever play that for one? Super Nintendo? That yeah. sounds familiar. It's a um, you know your typical RPG uh, turn based fighting okay. system. Right up your um, alley. Yeah, it was cool. I never played it, so I just checked it out, and I got past like the first two levels. Um, but it is not easy. Like you have to grind <laughs> a lot in that game. To I, move okay, on. real quick. I hate grinding in in all games. I really I it. It, okay. You do I, now because you're an adult and you there's other games to play. But I think as a kid, when that was one of maybe three games you owned. Yeah, like it's that. just yeah. it's one of those things where I, I should say I don't like when grinding. For instance, I, like the classic one is mining for gold in World of Warcraft, right? It's like this or killing pigs, right? Yeah, and and does that Diablo? I never played Diablo. No, no, that's I didn't World like Warcraft. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, we we need you to invest time into our game, and we're just going to make this monotonous like task that you have to continually do. And it's usually just an animation. We'll get into a game that we're going to talk about, but mass effect had the, you send down the signal to mine for certain materials. I hated that. I wouldn't call it grinding. Though. But that one, you actually had to go down there and do stuff. You didn't, didn't No, and, and two, they had like the planet scanning. So you're looking for I material. And you and just, just scan uh, all the way around. It was just really monotonous. I, yeah. I just, I, I think you can make mechanics in your game, like make a little puzzle, like a small mini game. Those are, those are okay. But if it's like literally they did that in like fable. And I hated that when you like had to just sit there and work for money and you would just do the mini game and but oh, like fable, fable two where you're yeah, just like chopping wood just, yeah those mini games are worse than just see, sending I'm talking a guy like, to chop wood i'd rather just send him to do it yeah well like one of the many like red dead redemption and there's a couple other western games that well it's because it's themed you one way you can go gain money or like advance your character is to go play like poker games you know like go play you know yeah, table yeah. games so that's Witcher fun three has gwent you know yeah and like i remember um i can't remember the name it was a game that came out from it a few years ago post-apocalyptic so it fits into this it was called um it was a first person rage. shooter rage yes and there was like a card game that they actually built into the game that i think they ended up actually printing the card game oh well but it was a cool game they actually built a game within it to play i and i a bunch of games final fantasy 8 had a cool card game that was like i played a lot of hours into that card game that had nothing to do with the actual game right and that's 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 the that's when i think that grinding is done correctly when it's it's actually a separate game but that's again just but that's not there, really yeah. i mean it didn't really benefit you in, no, you in final fantasy getting money it i mean you could get a, a unlock a couple of things but yeah but do you guys ever like the slot machines when games <laughs> that was well, like the, fallout new vegas had slot machines yeah, poker course, blackjack yeah. like pokemon had the slot machine yeah. you just never won i never <laughs> won on those just like real slot machines you just never win <laughs> we know better but uh, yeah, I, I don't mind the grinding. When I, I actually really enjoy in those kind of games just grinding a lot and then just putting the smack down on people. Oh, like, getting like level like, ninety nine. I'll go as far as I can, and then if I just keep dying, I'm like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, I'm I'll not be back for you. I'm not putting up with this, <laughs> and I will go kill boars for freaking thirty eight hours, <laughs> and I will come back and I will put the smack down on these guys. And I, I love that feeling, just being super powerful. Yeah, those are always. But nice. anyways, that's what I was doing. So David, what you doing? Well, speaking of table games, I actually this week played in a charity event. It was for Make a Wish Foundation. It was a Texas Hold'em poker tournament. All right, where was it at? It was uh, well, it's one of the companies that we that my office works with. Um, but the I came in second place. Oh, nice, good job. Nice. Yeah, I won a Kindle Fire. Ooh, so which, one? which one? It was uh, well, it's pink, it's hot pink. <laughs> nice, so, even better. Yeah, Perfect. I think yeah. a girl was gonna win. I guess I don't know. Do you have to give that to the charity? No, no, no. If they you play they, for charity. No, they gave it to me. I don't know. No, I, I no, like I, no, there was a buy. No, no, there was a buy. In. There was a buy. In. Yeah, that was what they raised a ton of money, which is you think awesome. You should go yeah, find so a little girl that doesn't have a Kindle. Fire. Well, no, this is what I was actually thinking. Well, I think we'll talk about this more. But I want to do some some type of contest where if you if you take like if you snap a photo and you turn in some toys like toys toys for tots or Salvation Army and you hashtag you know sit down Sander. I'll talk about it. But I want to do a contest for the holidays. If people are doing that, I want to give some stuff away and maybe I'll give away the Kindle oh, or maybe cool. some other stuff too. So um, altruistic. Are we allowed to win? No. Oh, I can't enter? <laughs> what? Oh. No. None of your family members oh, either. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, come on, Sarah. Tag us. Tag well, us. No one that listens is going to be able to win then. <laughs> oh, come on. Anyway. We have a couple people listening. There's like three people, so they'll win. <laughs> Real easy contest. No, but I had a lot of fun. What I've learned from poker is this. Two things. One, just be patient. Like don't basically don't play for like the first hour because people will just get yeah. really aggressive and then they'll end up losing. And then the second <laughs> thing I've learned is I am a terrible liar. What? So you know, I really am. I am a terrible liar. liar when it comes to poker. 
And so Rivalries. I only play good cards. <laughs> I only I only play. Okay, if anybody's ever gonna play me in poker in the future, I I only play good cards. See, this is this is this, this is, is right. You yeah, this is how I hustle. Right. No. Only play good cards. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ever see the movie Rounders? I love Rounders. Oh, I love Rounders. No. Oh, it's so best. good. Matt Damon, right? You have yeah. Matt you Damon. You got it. We're gonna sit Gerald down and make him watch <laughs> that. Movie. It's so good. Edward Norton too. Yeah. Oh, nice. Excellent yeah. movie. All right. Well, that's what I did. I did some other stuff, but I, that was probably the the highlight of my my uh, week. I'm sure maybe you'll tell me I'm wrong. Um, Gerald. What you doing? Well, not Halo 5 this week, that's for one thing, <laughs> right. because this game came out, Halo, or Fallout 4, and that's all I've been doing this week. Literally um, everything, right? So yeah, so like I normally I, I work from home, and I normally eat lunch, and then go walking, nope, eat lunch really quickly, and then let's play Fallout, so... I think you're, dedi- you're really but... dedicated that you take like a lunch hour when you work from home. Well, he used to I like, I, he dresses nice. Like when he's at home, well, he dresses I, in like I a wear polo and like, yeah. Well, because, okay, so sometimes your... they have like video conferencing and stuff. I'm not going to be like, oh, oh crap, I forgot to put on my work shirt. <laughs> I'd, I have always... like, I'd have like a cardboard cutout of stuff and like <laughs> overlay it. Like I would just put my head through the hole. I'm like, oh yeah, wipe the cheese off my mouth and be like, oh no, I'm here, boss. What's up? Like, what can I help you with? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> no, no, I, I keep up here. Yeah, no, it's good. I, it's probably why you're successful from working from home. I would not do well <laughs> at all. Yeah, it yeah. reminds me of like all the times when they were like, "Oh, it's a take-home test." I'm like, "Oh man, I'm not easy." Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, well, <laughs> I would just call Jordan up and be like, "Jordan, we have to work together on this because I don't know what I'm doing." And then yeah. he would be like, "I was my I had the same strategy. We're screwed." Um, so, <laughs> anyway, yeah, just smart. just a lot of Fallout Four, and we'll obviously get to it because it's a big part of this episode. But uh, yeah, I'm level twenty three already. I'm yeah. like level nine, so that just tells you. And I've played a lot too. No, what's funny is we had some we had some people over the other day to play some board games, and then yeah. I, I invited you over, and you're like, "Well, I want to." Yeah, uh, it's like uh, Fallout Four or get out of the house. No, one this time is what this he week. actually said. He goes. Oh, I really want to play some more Fallout for the podcast because we, we need to talk about it. So don't, I'm studying. Don't. You always say I don't take notes or do anything, and I'm taking notes by playing this game. No, yeah, I took offense to that part last week, by the way. No, you guys did make notes. But, um, okay, so Fallout.